morning guys it's Charlene with Chalk Couture I'm going to show you how to make these little mugs today with our ink and our little mini transfer here I have this one already cut apart this is our explore more these are all of the different ones that are on there and I have one that I've used and we're going to we're going to use that one. This is something that I demo at my shows. And everybody seems to really like these. But um, at my craft show this past weekend, I was talking to them about ink and how easy it was to do. So I would like to demo this for you. And then I'm going to upload it so that my customers can, can see these live. Um, so when you're using a transfer on a solid surface like glass, ceramic, um, something that doesn't breathe, that has no holes under it, you want to fuzz it several times so that it will come off. So the easy way to fuzz it is either on a towel or on your t-shirt. And you're just gonna stick it on there and pull it off Stick it on there and pull it off. You're going to do that several times when it is um, going onto glass. And then you're just going to put it onto your mug or whatever you're going to put it on. And I do see a little, see a little piece of lint under there from the towel. I'm just going to get that off before we start. This one has been used. So um, it has been used several times. I'm going to try to do this without taping off, but you can use blue painters tape. This one it's really close to the edge. I don't see if you can know if you can see the design. But I'm going to try to just um, squeegee it. We'll try it the first time without blue painters tape. If I have an issue, then we will resort to blue painters tape. This you can wash off. So so paint if you're or I'm sorry, ink, if you're putting it onto um, fabric, you can't wash it off. If you put it onto a mug like this, you're going to be able to wash it off and try again. So if you make a mistake, if you have an oopsie out of the area, this, you can fix it. So I just wanted to show you how easy these are and I'm just working down and you don't want to work it too much ink ink can go underneath the transfer really easily so you just smooth it out you don't work it back and forth back and forth like you do chalk paste okay so I have my area covered and I'm fairly certain that I have my ink in all of the little open areas of my transfer where the silk screen is and I'm going to pull this carefully so okay perfect this is going to go into a water bath and I see a little dot here, and I have some Q-tips that I can use to clean that up. I am just going to take a dry Q-tip, and I'm just going to wipe that just like that. So for ink, you're going to let it dry. I prefer to let it dry overnight or three or four hours. And then you're going to heat set it in an oven. So this will be heat set in an oven. And you will set, set your glassware or whatever you're doing in your oven with it cold. And then you turn your oven to 350. And then you... Set your timer for an hour, let it cook for one hour in the oven, then turn your oven off, set your timer for two hours, and come back and remove it from the oven. And then it's done, it's permanent. This will not wash off. 
you can put this through your dishwasher and it will stay. So these glasses, um, I can't remember. I believe I got these from Walmart, but a lot of my glasses I get from the dollar store. So it's very inexpensive to make this little project and sell or give it as a gift. You have very little time involved and I'll leave that there, very little money involved. And they're so easy. So I think the hardest part is just peeling this off without it going back onto it. Okay, so there's that one. You want to make sure that you keep your hands clean. You want to have paper towels and Clorox wipes close by so that you're not getting anything onto your hands. So the challenge would be to do the back side. So to do the back side, you're going to have to hold it. And I will show you how this is. Okay, so this side says, let's get lost. So let me see, how about, how about our happy camper on this other side? And these are our inks. They're just a very smooth consistency. You never have to add water to them. You will just simply open it and stir it. And I'm gonna, I'm fuzzing this on my shirt. I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, so I am just going to, and I have the corners folded under. If you see that, it makes it a lot easier to pull this up so it's not completely adhered. Okay, and that is crooked. I'm going to peel this off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on just like this so that I can kind of see it and do it two-handed. It's gonna be better. And then I'll show you. All right, and you know what? It's okay if it's a little bit crooked because it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is our bright white and it doesn't take a lot. You're just gonna pull down. And if you need a little bit more, you can just dip your squeegee in just like that and just get a little bit more. Do that area. Okay. I don't want to work it too much because then it starts to get underneath there. I'm going to set it down and I'm going to hold it while I pull this sideways. I'm sorry you can't really see. Maybe I can tip it as we're pulling it. So, so that's how easy it is. I'm just going to set that there. I can't lean it up for you to see anymore because it'll mess up the other side. So we have Happy Camper and then we have Let's Get Lost. Okay, on this one, let's do, okay, we have Wild and Free is the way to be. Um, let's do Wander on the other side. Okay, and I'm just fuzzing it on my shirt. And then I will just stick that just like that. And see how, how good this is to have these little corners here. If this was a completely flat on there, it'd be hard. You'd be picking at that, trying to get it up, and you could touch your fingers in the ink as you're peeling that. So I am going to, I'm just going to tip this like this and hold it while I spread this ink. I just wanted you guys to see just how quick and easy this is. This is one of those things that you could do a bunch of them at night and set them aside. In the morning, get up and put them in your oven and bake them. Just do a whole batch at a time. So I do have two more cups that I'll do. So I'm just smoothing it out. And then I'm gonna peel my transfer. Like I say, you don't work it as much as the chalk paste. Okay, so there's that one. And I can see down on the W that there's a little area that it didn't get, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that and I'm not going to try to touch it up because I'll just mess it up. It 
kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way. So ink is kind of a one shot deal because you have to dry it and heat set it and you really want to just get that right the first time. But if I was really unhappy, I could just take a Lysol wipe, wipe that off and start over. But it actually looks like it's supposed to be that way. All right, so I have two more of the same colors as the other ones. I like this one, Never Look Back. So I'm fuzzing this on my shirt. And then I'm going to put it right here on this mug. So you want to do a contrasting color so it shows up. So if you have a dark cup, you want to do a light color. If you have a light cup, you want to do a dark color. And that's just that just makes sense. If you chose a color that was too close in the hue of that color, it would just blend in and wouldn't stand out. I like things to pop. So I'm just being careful and not going outside of the lines here or outside of the transfer. If you need to tape it, you can do that and then just pull your blue painter's tape off. No big deal. You do what you feel comfortable with. Okay. Got all of my silk screen area covered. I'm just going to pull my transfer. You don't want to pull diagonal, you want to pull from top to bottom or side to side. And I do have some out of the side, so I'm going to clean that with a Q-tip. Alright, so it's that easy to clean. Okay, what do we have left here? What should we put on here? Adventure Vibes. That would be... We should put that in white because white is really bright. So let's put Explore More over here. And these transfers, they are reusable. You are going to use them again and again. And Top Couture says 8 to 12 times, but... This weekend, I used these same transfers and the Easter ones over and over and over to demo. And certain ones, like the Easter Bunny, got used more. Must have been used like 40 times and still worked fine. The whole key is that you need to clean them properly. So with the chalk paste, I just was able to put it onto a mat, onto a non-stick mat like this, and use the Lysol wipe and clean it from there immediately. You don't want your chalk paste or your ink to dry inside of the transfer because then you could damage the transfer. So you can see how quickly you could make a whole bunch of these. These would be a, a really great gift or um, you could take these camping and have them for your family. Let's see. Let's go explore. We're going to put this on the back of that one. So like before, I'm going to carefully put this on here. Trying to do it one-handed. Smooth out all of the air bubbles. And then just apply some of the ink. I'm going to ink all of the areas. And then I'm going to pull my transfer. I was actually hoping I'd mess one up so I could show you how easy it was to clean it. because you can just wipe this right off with the with the Lysol wipe. Okay, so which one were we gonna do? Never look back. We were gonna do that with, oh, Adventure Vibes right there. Okay, so because of the little things that kind of look like a sunshine going out. Okay, so 
This will look really cool on here. Just smooth it out. Take some of your ink and you're just gonna spread it. Sorry if you're not able to see. I'm left-handed, sometimes that gets in the way. So, hey guys, if you think that you would like to do this or you would like to purchase this product, just leave me a message, I will get you more information. Or you can go to my website, which I will have below, and you can just click on it, go to the website, you can order directly from there, and you can join if you'd like to join. You can see how much fun it is. I am going to tip these this way and show you. So we have Let's Go Explore and Adventure Vibes. I can see right here there's like a tiny, tiny bit that went outside of the transfer. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm just going to very carefully clean that and it's gone. So that is how easy it is to fix any little boo-boo before you, before they are cooked. Once they are baked in the oven, they are permanent. Okay, so I'm going to go over that again. So you're going to bake these in the oven at 350. You put them in the oven with the oven cold and then you turn the oven on to 350. Set your timer for one hour. Let it bake for one hour. Then you will turn your oven off and let it cool for two hours. And then you can take them out and they are permanent. You can wash them in your dishwasher. You can wash them by hand, whatever you choose to do. So that is how easy this is. And just like the chalk paste, you're gonna clean your jar lids so that they don't glue themselves down onto the top of this. Ink is a little different, it's more fluid. Like I said, you never have to add water. You're gonna open it and just stir it. The, the color does not separate. You might see just a little bit of pigment, but it is not like chalk paste, it's different. So there you go, guys. I wish I could tip all these down and show you, but they look pretty awesome. I'll, I'll post finished pictures once I bake them. I'll post them in the comment area of this. So I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope that you will be able to try these someday or come to one of my craft shows and demo them. It's so easy. Children were doing the demo they kept coming back can I do another one can I do another one and it was pretty awesome at the craft show so looking forward to another show next week not this coming weekend but the next week so anyways guys gonna let you get on with your day have a wonderful day and I will be talking to you again soon